All right, so it is March 1st, 2020. It is currently 7.57 p.m., so almost 8 o'clock, and I have decided, and this could go very bad or very good, we'll see. I have decided that I am going to wake up at 5 a.m. every day for the month of March, with the exception of obviously March 1st, because today, um, I think I woke up at like 6.30, so, but it's a Sunday, and for a Sunday, 6.30 is like really early for me, obviously. But I've decided to wake up at 5 a.m. every day of the month of March, and just see how much I get done. So tomorrow, I have to do my laundry in the morning, um, I have some work stuff to get done, so I'm just gonna see how much more productive it makes me, um, and just gonna see what happens, but I'm gonna keep you guys posted throughout the month, so I am gonna crawl into bed, watch one episode of, um, Marie Kondo on Netflix. I started that today and then I am off to sleep. So I will check with you guys tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. All right, I set my alarm. Um, I realized I didn't even have a 5 a.m. alarm. I had a 4.30 and a 5.15. So I set a 5 o'clock alarm. It's gonna wake me up to the sweet sound of the Jonas Brothers in the morning and we'll get this challenge started. Hello, it is Monday, March 2nd. It is 5.09 a.m. My alarm went off at 5. I checked some emails. But I'm feeling really sick this morning, which is fair. I'm recovering from being sick. So I'm going to give myself a little grace today. I'm going to set my alarm for 545 and just kind of lay here. I probably won't fall back asleep. But that's how I'm choosing to spend this extra time this morning um, in hopes that I'll feel a little bit better when I get up to do my workout. But I'm awake. It's 5. I'm so awake I probably won't fall back asleep. But I'm at least just going to lay here and relax. So I'll check back in in a little bit. All right, so it's now 6.40. Um, my alarm went up at 5.45, and I still just was feeling like garbage. So I set an alarm for 6.30, and when I woke up, I felt awesome. So I just went to the restroom. I'm going to go brush my teeth, put my hair up, make my bed, and do a workout, and we're just going to get this day going. Um, with this challenge, I really am just going to listen to my body. Um, and if my body is saying I need more sleep, I'm going to get more sleep. Um, but I'm hoping that eventually it'll get used to it again. I did used to wake up at 5 a.m. every day for... Um, my old job, so I'm hoping that my body will get used to it again. Um, but starting while I was sick was probably a poor decision, but it's okay, we're gonna keep rolling. All right, forgive the night hair, but it is eight o'clock almost on still March 2nd. I'm going to try and go a bit a little earlier today. I'm still gonna watch an episode of Marie Kondo, um, and we're gonna see how tomorrow goes. Plan is to wake up at five and just power through my day. So hopefully my body doesn't betray me tomorrow. But again, I'm gonna listen to it. If I wake up and I feel like garbage, I'm gonna go back to sleep. Um, because listening to my body is the most important thing right now with my entire health journey. So, good night. All right, it is 5.52 on March 3rd. I did wake up at five, however, I went down a social media rabbit hole. So now I'm just finally out of bed, um, brush my teeth, and now I'm gonna do my workout. But I did get up at five today. All right, it's the 4th, and today was rough. I woke up at 2.30, naturally, and it took me until 4 to fall back asleep, so when my alarm went off at 5, I wanted to die. So, I set an alarm for 5.30, and then I woke up, and then somehow it was 6.10. I think I fell back asleep, which is fine. It's what my body needed this morning, but now it is 6.20, and we're gonna get this day going. All right, it is the 6th today. Yes, it's the 6th of March. It is 7.42 a.m. I have been up since 5 a.m. I got out of bed at 5.10. I got my workout in. I was out of the shower by 6.10, and I have been getting a lot of work done. So, so far, so good. All right, it's the 7th, and I'm not gonna lie, I think tomorrow's gonna be the hardest day because, oh, it's not the 7th anymore. It's the 8th. Um, I went to Bachelor Live on tour tonight, which was great, but I don't know how I'm going to be up in five hours. So I'm going to grab myself some grace and not set an alarm, and we're going to see what happens. All right, it's the eighth year, getting back on track. This morning I woke up at 7.40, which is really like 6.40 because it's daylight savings, um, but I'm feeling really good. It's about eight o'clock, and I'm going to get into bed already so that I'm ready for tomorrow. All right, so it is um, March 13th, it is 7.30 a.m. I just finished my workout because I set my alarm for 5 a.m. like always, and it didn't go off. Like when I opened my alarms when I woke up, the alarm was turned on, but it never went off. I woke up at 6.45. So that was weird. The world's falling apart, but 
oh well, we're gonna hope my alarm goes off tomorrow. All right, so it is 11.30 on the 13th, so the 13th. I'm not gonna lie, I was really tempted today. I had a little bit of a breakdown. I was really tempted to just give up on this 5 a.m. thing because I know my body is gonna need more rest um, with all the stuff that's happening at work now, all the things that are just happening in general in the world. Um, it's a lot, of, it's stressful and I've gotta to listen to my body, but I've decided I'm gonna keep trying, but I'm still gonna continue. Like I said earlier, I just need to listen to my body. So I'm gonna keep listening to my body. And if I wake up at 5 a.m. tomorrow, my body's like, mm -mm, this isn't it, then it isn't it. And I just keep moving on. Um, the world must go on even in a crisis and I, though I know that my immune system is weak, not weak, it's weaker than it used to be and that I am putting myself at risk by making myself wake up at 5 a.m. every day, it's worth it to keep that promise to myself. Um, but it's also worth it to note that, like, I'm going to listen to my body, and if I start to feel myself being too drained or too sick to, like, keep doing this, I'm gonna give myself grace. Um, but for now I'm gonna keep trying because it's important to me that I'm keeping commitments to myself. Um, and I think it's important that during times of, like, great strife that we keep moving on as much as normal as we can. And I'm also going to be grateful for having this footage um, to document kind of just what we were going through. Because we started March super hopeful. This was really exciting. I was super excited for this. Um, and the world has kind of turned upside down in a lot of ways since then. Um, and my life is getting more and more stressful. There's more and more fear in the world. Um, and I think that's one of the great things about YouTube and vlogs in general is they're a good picture of the things that are going on in the world and you get to see all of the different things we go through as humans and you know 20 years down the line people will see this and be like oh yeah that was a time that was that was something we went through um so i don't know i'm trying to keep challenging myself because i think that's the only way for me that i'm gonna be able to stay positive um and continue to choose joy during this um a lot of things I was looking forward to have been canceled. Um, a lot of content that I had planned for my channel has been canceled because of those things. And I just, I need to do something to keep myself motivated. So I don't know, you guys, I mean, you guys have seen this in April. I don't know how I did. Um, but for me, it's worth trying. So it's almost midnight. I need to go to bed if I'm going to be up in the morning early. Um, I know tomorrow I'll probably end up letting myself go back to sleep, but I am going to wake up at 5 a.m. and hopefully my alarm will actually go off tomorrow. That was so weird this morning. It was very weird. I woke up at 6.45. I was like, why is my mom already leaving? It's only, it can't be 5 yet. Oh no, it was past 5. So I'm hoping there's something not wrong with my phone. Um, we'll see you tomorrow. Hello my people. My eye is really blurry. Sorry. It is the 14th. It is like 8 something. My alarm went off at 5. My body said, hell no. And I just went back to sleep and I woke up around 7.20, which was great. Um, and I'm kind of just trying to like reset my attitude today. Um, and just move on with my life. So, let's keep going. Hey guys, it's the 18th. Um, and I just got my bed all ready for myself and I filmed a video, I'm uploading another one. Um, I haven't worked out since last Friday. I've woken up at five every day and most of those days I've gone back to sleep. Um, I mean, to be honest, everything going on in the world is just exhausting me and I'm so mentally exhausted that it's impacting me physically. Um, but tomorrow I'm gonna try and get up I'm mean, gonna wake up at five still, like I have been. I'm gonna try and actually get out of bed by 5.30 so I can do a workout tomorrow and see if my body will let me do a workout because I just, I wake up, I get ready to do my workout and then I just physically can't, which is a problematic for me. Um, so far I'm still sleeping okay, so that's good. I'm still losing weight, but I miss working out and I miss having a part of my morning routine and it hasn't been for a couple days. So I'm gonna try my hardest tomorrow 
to actually get out of bed before 6 a.m. So we'll see how that goes. All right, it's like 6.40. I woke up at 5, did not get out of bed until 6.30, if that's okay. I'm gonna do a workout. I'm gonna do it. Maybe probably only a quick one, but I'm gonna do it. All right, so it is March 26th. It is about 7.30 p.m. Um, I haven't checked with you guys in about a week. I've been working at home now for two days. This was technically day three, but I went into the office on day one for a couple hours. So it doesn't really feel like it's been three days. It feels like it's only been two. Um, I've still been waking up at five every day. Most days I have been going back to sleep. Um, this morning, I actually woke up at four and I stayed awake until 5.30. And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna let myself just shut my eyes until six. And then I woke up at six when my alarm went off and then somehow it was seven. I must have fallen back asleep, um, but that's okay. I'm still adjusting to this new, new normal, and I've told myself to give myself grace. However, tomorrow, I'm looking at my calendar right now before I go to bed. Um, tomorrow, I have a um, video conference at 7 a.m., which means I need to get out of bed at 5 a.m., so I can do my workout and get ready before that conference call. Um, in order to be able to still have my, the rest of my morning routine before I actually, actually start work. So, um, it's 7.30 right now, I'm about to turn on a movie. Um, I've just been reading for the past hour and a half. I'm gonna turn on a movie and curl up in bed um, and just kinda see if I fall asleep during the movie, I fall asleep during the movie. If not, I'll fall asleep, I'll turn the movie off and go to sleep right afterwards. Um, but yeah, then tomorrow morning I'm gonna, the latest I can get out of bed is 5.30 tomorrow. Um, I have my workout scheduled for 5.30, so really like 5.15 if I wanna like, you know, use the restroom and brush my teeth before I do my workout, which I normally do. So, wish me luck. Um, I'm trying really hard not to resent myself for making this challenge for this month, but how was I to know on, you know, February 29th that March was gonna end in um, a lockdown um, and a major outbreak um, of a new virus in my area. I, I mean, how could I have known? I mean, obviously we knew about the virus at the end of February and it had, had it come to Washington by then? I don't know. I know we, we were being careful, but there was no mandates then. There was no rules about this. There was no hysteria. Um, and so I'm really glad that I'll have this video of just kind of a whole month of just deteriorating. Um, but how was I to know that this was going to be an awful month for me to do this? So I'm going to keep doing it. Um, I think on Monday, the holocysts are starting uh, next 90 days instead of last 90 days, so I think that's really going to help me stay on track through April. Um, but I don't know, I'm just a little overwhelmed. But I made a commitment to myself, and I'm not going to break it, so my alarm will be set for 5 a.m., I will be awake at 5 a.m., and tomorrow I will actually have to get out of bed then, because I've got to be on time for this conference call. So, yay, I'm so tired. So I'm going to curl up in bed. It's only 7.30, so I don't want to like, go to sleep yet. Um, but I'm going to turn on a movie and curl up and just be cozy. Um, yeah, so I'll talk to you guys in the morning. All right, it is 5.27 on the 27th. I'm up out of bed. My bed is kind of half-assedly made. And I am going to do my workout. All right, so it is the 31st of March. It is 6.45 a.m. As you can see, I'm out of bed, I'm awake. I did wake up at five, my alarm went off, and I just kind of like scrolled social media for a while, gave myself some like relaxing time, um, and now I'm gonna do my workout and stuff, and then later today I'll film my final thoughts. Um, but I made it through, I made it through the month. All right, so let's talk about how it went. Um, it was rough, let's be honest here. Um, you guys saw in the clips, you saw how I wouldn't call it 100% a success. Um, I mean, my alarm went off at 5 a.m. every day, except for that one day that I would not let it go off at 5 a.m. Um, 
Oh, and the one day it accidentally didn't. There was one day it accidentally didn't go off. Anyway, um, so it wasn't easy. Um, but you have to think about the circumstances you're in in the world. And right now, at this time in the world, it wasn't necessarily a great time to um, take on a challenge. Um, but in some ways it was. And I think that's as I move into this next month um, why I'm back on board with Five to Thrive um, and Next 90 Days is because I think this is a time to not only give yourself grace but also to push yourself. Um, which I know those things seem contradictory. But when you're in your safe space, your comfortable space, which some of you may not be, some of you this time of being home may not feel safe to you, but to me it does. Um, I'm home in my safe space. I'm in my comfy reading chair working all day. I'm just in my, oh, everything that's mine is here. Um, I have all the comforts I need to be able to push myself. Um, and I think I just needed March for my brain to catch up to that. To be like, no, yes, things are hard right now. Yes, we're living in a weird time. But what can I do to maintain my normalcy and to push myself to grow through this, not to stay stagnant through it? Um, because I think if this had been about a year ago, two years ago, my instinct would be to like hunker down and just maintain my sanity and like stay calm and not push myself to try th new things, to work hard. Um, but where I am in my life right now, that doesn't interest me. The idea of just like curling up, hungering down and waiting this out, I have no interest in that. I want to keep pushing forward. So I'm glad I did this. <laughs> Um, I don't know as if I would call it a, a, like, you know, smashing success, but it was worth it. Um, on the days that it was super successful, I was able to get so much more done. And so I am excited to keep moving forward with waking up at 5 a.m. Um, I had originally thought I was maybe going to call it 6 a.m. for next 90 days, but I think I'm going to stick to 5 a.m. Um, it just gives me more time to do the things I want to do. Um, I was looking at my pile, growing pile, of books I want to read. Um, and I was like, well, I, I still have to work. Um, so I need those hours. So I'm going to stick with 5 a.m. so I have that time to reread the Hunger Games series. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. Um, do the things you enjoy. So, though maybe this wasn't the most successful challenge I've ever done, I'm glad I did it and I'm ready to keep going on. Um, I highly encourage you guys to just put yourself to try one thing new. It doesn't have to be something extreme. I wouldn't call waking up an, at 5 a.m. every day extreme. I wouldn't. Um, so I highly encourage you to try something new. Um, yeah, I, I know we're going to get through this time and I think the best way that I can come out of this one as a better person is to continue to push myself. So I'm going to keep doing that and I hope you do too. Um, leave a comment below of a way that you are going to try and challenge yourself during the month of April. I'd love to hear what you are doing for your life. Um, if you want to see what I'm doing to challenge myself in April and beyond, head over to my Instagram account. Um, and watch the latest episode of five that went up yesterday um, and that talks you through what I am doing to push myself for the next 90 days. If you like this video give it a big old thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed hit that button. I upload videos two to three times a week and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!